and has been active in fusion research for 45 years. Beginning in 1984, he developed a detailed quantitative theory of the functioning of dense plasma focus device, or DPF. Based on this theory, he proposed that the DPF could achieve high ion and electron energies at high densities suitable for hydrogen boron fusion and space propulsion. First with funding from NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, and then with investor funding for LPP fusion, he and a small team achieved record high temperatures, 100 times that of the center of the sun. He is also a leader in developing an alternative to the Big Bang Theory and is the author of the 1991 book, The Big Bang Never Happened. In, in both fusion and cosmology, his work has been published in leading peer-reviewed peer -reviewed journals. Please, we welcome Eric Lerner. Thank you. And thanks for organizing this and inviting me. So, yeah, so today I'm going to be talking about focus fusion as the fast path to fusion energy. We believe the fastest path. So, I don't need to tell you, the headlines tell you, that humanity is in crisis. But the headlines don't say is this crisis has been building for quite some time. Tired of inflation, wars, and inequality caused by the energy crisis? LPP Fusion is developing a solution that could allow everyone to have cheap, clean, off-grid, and sustainable fusion energy. Invest now as we seek to bring this potentially life-changing technology to market. For more information, visit lppfusion.com. These graphs illustrate this over the period since the Second World War. So the blue line shows the rate of mortality decline. So since the rate of decline is a good thing, the higher this number, the better, the faster people were getting their lives better. And you see that there's a peak there right about in the 1960s. So indeed, the 60s were the good old days. This is the fastest rate of mortality decline. And then you see the blue curve declines during the 70s and 80s into the end of the 20th century. There's a small blip, which is mainly associated with the integration of China into the world economy. And then with the uh, pandemic, we actually move into negative territory so that the uh, mortality rate of the entire world population is now rising. As a condition for progress in the post-war boom, we needed energy. So the orange curve is the rate of energy increase percent again, in percent per year. And again, it closely tracks the blue curve. For humanity to advance, we need more energy flow. So again, the peak is during the 60s. There's a decline to a low plateau, almost stagnation. Through the end of the uh, 20th century, a small peak in the during the period of the uh, uh, integration of the Chinese economy, and again, a transition uh, during the present decade into a decline in per capita energy uh, increase. So, what do we need to reverse the situation? First of all, we're not sustaining ourselves on a global uh, level. So this is a map of the net reproduction, the number of children per couple, four countries in the world. And basically, only the warm-colored countries, which are overwhelmingly Africa, have positive uh, levels necessary to sustain the population. All these other countries are having less than two children per couple, which obviously is unsustainable 
for the survival of humanity. And the countries that have more are the very poorest countries where the mortality rate is the highest.